Hi everyone, so this was a surprise for me. Forge Pass Season 7 is live with Bolster. Alright, we'll go into it. And Bolster is really good. And it's very strong. The only thing that kind of downfall is that it's a 4 set. But you do get protected 30% HP ally shield for 3 turns. And it heals the wearer, the wearer by 10% every turn. So you get pretty decent heals. And you get a good amount of protection. And I was excited to see that. I don't have many pieces. I um, regretted not getting the gold pass for bolster last time when it came around. So this is the second time for me doing the forge pass for bolster. Now in uh, blue, if you don't want the gold pass, in blue is all the rewards that you would get. And then if you do the gold pass, you get the blue and the gold. And in order to get bolster, you have to buy the gold pass. Daily challenges are your points. And every two challenges, you unlock a reward. And of course, it will tell you up there where that little um, forge symbol is by level three. It tells you how many more points you need until you unlock a reward. So every 10 points, you unlock a reward. Next is weekly challenges. This is only for gold pass. Um, if you complete all of them, then of course you get 200 extra match still. And here's what it looks like. You can get this from doing daily stuff. And each one you do gives you an extra 12 points. And then of course every 7 days a new week unlocks and you can continue working on the previous ones. So like say we were working on week one and we almost had that top one completed but wasn't fully completed by the time week two opened. That's okay. We can still work on week one and get points for that. Now as a disclaimer um, stats are not guaranteed. They're going to be random like with any other set. It's going to be random. But generally, whenever I get the um, set from completing it, I usually get really, really good stats. Another thing is that um, if you do the goal pass, you can save everything. And then when it comes to um, CBC, you can, of course, forge them all and get points for CBC. And then what you're not going to keep, you can sell and get a massive amount of silver. And you can use it for an fusion or fragment summer event that you want to save that silver for. So that's like some things to kind of keep in mind and check out and stuff. And then of course keep an eye on um, how much, how many pieces you have and if you need to sell or not when you do the CBC because it will fill up fast. Now I do have some bolster pieces. I do wish I had more. Um, we'll have to scroll down a few way, uh, a bit to show you the pieces I had. 
I wish I had more because the they're really good. Do, 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 do. We're almost there. All right, and here we are. I have a piece of my Rhonda. And then I have a few other pieces on some other champions. And it, it makes them strong. It really does, and it helps. Uh, as you can see, I only have one champion with the um, set stats. And I will, um, do do, let me find her so I can, oh, there she is. And that is a uh, Sakura. And as you can see, Sats works for her and it helps her out. And she lives for quite a while due to healing every turn and also being able to throw out shields for everybody. And it's nice. So yeah, if you definitely want strong pieces of artifact for your champions, especially for people that you want to have a lot of hills a lot, it's definitely something to get into. And it's only $20 to, of course, get several thousand pieces of materials to forge. And I believe, get yeah, over it. I think we can forge over a thousand pieces or, oh my goodness. But yeah, um, it's a lot. It's a lot of, to do. I'm trying to think how many pieces we actually get to forge. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we are. All right. So it takes five of those. So let's go back in here. 50. 150. 350. 550. 750. 750. So you get about um, 950. Added by five. Oh my goodness. I am not mathing. <laughs> I am not mathing. All right. 950 divided by five. All right. 190. Four chances to get um, six star. Legendary pieces. And then. And that's not including the top here. That's just for the gold pass. And then for the top you get like 75 pieces. And then of course divide that by 5. And that's how many pieces you get. So you get like over 200 for a chance to get several six-star legendary pieces. And then, um, let's see. And then, of course, you would do what would be left for the epics. For the four to fives. And then eventually you would do the three to fours. But yeah, there's several hundred pieces probably like about I want to say about 500 more or less 
I don't remember the exact number that they give for forge passes. And of course, this one's pretty well updated. So it may be more or less. Of course, I can update when I get all the materials. And then you guys can see for sure exactly the count. But yeah, it's a lot of pieces. It really, really does add up. Like with um, our um, last set which is instinct I will get there eventually I, of course I need to do a cleanse but yeah as you can see there's a lot of pieces that I have let's do six star And of course, these are all the six stars that I have. So yeah, you get a good chunk of artifacts from it. Here are my legendaries. I didn't get that many legendaries for that set. I did get quite a bit of epic six stars. And then I got about the same amount for rare six stars. Now if we go to five stars, I got a handful. Then these are for the five star epics. I get a good decent amount. And then I got a lot of five-star rares. So that just gives you an idea of what you're going to be dealing with. You're going to probably get a lot more five-star rares when you do the four to fives. Than what you would be getting like legendaries and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely look at the stats for anything in... You never know, you might have one that works for you. That one has speed. Ooh, crit right and crit damage. And as you can see, I do have quite a bit of pieces that could definitely work on champions. See, I'm just kind of randomly clicking just to see what's there. I mean, I do have some bad pieces. We're not going to deny that. You're going to always have some bad pieces. But you will have a lot of good pieces. And the good outweighs the bad. And I do regret selling a lot of my Defiant pieces. I regret that. I wish I saved more Defiant pieces. I really wish I saved more of those. But yeah, I am excited for the bolster. And I can't wait to add that to my collection. Because it's going to be epic. And I'm going to have stronger champs. And it's going to beef up my account. So yeah, if you're able to do the gold pass... It is 100% worth it. Alright, I hope you like this video and I will see you guys again soon.